Hey, this is John back in the shop and I want to talk today about repairing your riding lawnmower deck. I make these videos from time to time to talk about just the basics of repair for folks that don't repair a lot of stuff so you can get over the intimidation part and save yourself a bunch of money. So today, we're talking about the deck that's underneath your riding lawnmower. Here's the deck, and you might think that your riding lawnmower and the deck are just one piece put together, but they're not. And this comes off sort of easily. There's, there's some pins that come out of there, and out of there, and one in the back. And there's a cable that holds a spring. But otherwise, in about five minutes, you can drop this deck and slide it out from underneath your mower. This is the front of the deck. There's a belt that hooks up to the engine drive, and then it comes and goes over some pulleys, and then there's a spindle. So what's a spindle look like? This is the old spindle. It's the business end of your mower. It's what holds the blade, and then it turns. Now, this is a wear-out item. It's not going to last the full life of your mower, and they're kind of easy to replace. First off, the new ones, it's a sealed unit. This is a bearing right here, and the old ones, you had to bang these bearings out and put them back in, and it was kind of a pain in the butt. But now, they just sell you the whole assembly with new bearings in it, and here's a new one right here. I just took it out of the box, comes just like this. I actually got it off of eBay from a seller called 810, and I'm very impressed with the quality. It is an aftermarket item, but it looks great, feels very high quality. Uh, it also came with a couple of blades, talk about that in a minute, uh, but they are as good or even better than the ones that came on it. Why am I replacing these? I'm going to turn this, and hopefully you can hear this. This one turns, and it would be okay to use, but it's starting to fail, meaning the bearings are starting to get old. Obviously, there's a lot of heat, dirt, vibration going on, and it takes a wear and tear. I mean, it's what does the job. It's, uh, it's what cuts the grass. Spin this new one. There is no noise coming off of here. So you've got nice lubricated bearings. How often do you have to replace this? I don't know. Uh, two, three, four, five years. Uh, really, when you can spin those blades and you start hearing this thing grind, or if you're on the mower and you, you hear a grind or a whine, eh, it's probably time to replace the spindles. Everything here was under $85, so it is not a super expensive job to replace them. The expensive part is if you have to take it to somebody. So these blades right here, just typical of use. They've they've been beat around. They've got chips on them, and if I try to balance them, they just fall over to one side. So it's very unbalanced, which probably leads to the premature failure of one of these things. So the spindles fit in this hole. They're held on by four bolts. Put the bolts on. And that's it. Once it's on, then the blade goes on from the bottom, just as normal. Once those two things are on, then you just rerun the belt and slide it back up under your lawn tractor and put it back on. I like to use my drill because it's a whole lot faster. And make sure the bolts are nice and tight with a wrench. And you can put your new blade on. Kind of interesting. It's maybe hard to read, but this one says grass side, just in case there was any confusion. Uh, these, like most blades, go on with one nut. This one has a very wide flange at the bottom. And the previous one, I had trouble getting it off. That's why I had to take the whole deck off. Um, and I think it was because it just kind of rusted in place onto the blade. So I'm putting a little bit of grease on it. Just so hopefully that doesn't happen again. But line up the stars and tighten that one up. Spins nice and easy. 
Now we just hook up the belt and put it up under the mower. This happens to be a Troy built 42 inch deck, but I don't care what it says on your mower, there's only about three or four manufacturers. So whether you've got Troy built, MTD, Murray, Husqvarna, uh, Craftsman, they're all made by just a handful of folks and they're all made about the same. Um, so you can find videos of how to hook this back up, yours specifically. Uh, on this one, there's the belt and it goes on that pulley right there, right there. There's a rod that connects in the front. There's, there's two rods in the back, one on each side. And then there's a bar here, two bars that connect. And then there is a spring and that gets connected as well. So it's not, it's a five minute job. Uh, it's not daunting. You just have to lay down on the ground and do it. And it all goes together with clip pins. All right, so the deck is hooked up. There's a new spindle. Everything is working. Deck goes up and down. And the happy wife is happy again because she has a mower. That works great. Yes. I love my mower. <laughs> I am not new school. I like a steering wheel. I'm very old school mower. There is a shroud that goes around the outer pulleys. It goes right here. I just have to put that on with three bolts, but those two broke. They broke right here. Why did it break? There was a lot of vibration <laughs> down below. Everything just and eventually things don't work if they vibrate too much. So that's the job done. I would call this a medium difficulty only because there's some heavy things and you've got to get, Muscle. get down on your side and, and unhook things and drag it out. But it's an hour, hour and a half job. But again, I don't want you to be intimidated. If I can do it, you can do it. It is not a super expensive job and those spindles are wear out items. So when they wear out, don't, don't take it to a shop. Don't take it to me. And, and don't, don't trash your mower just because one little part is bad. No, do it yourself. <laughs> Save some money, you'll do it right. All right, thanks for watching. We will see you soon on the homestead. Bye. Bye everyone.